Hello and welcome to a whole new playthrough. You can see by the title what we're doing, it's finally time to continue what we started. We are here with Pokemon Moemon Platinum. We did Pokemon Moemon Fire Red, and I had one problem with it at the end. I had one issue that I mentioned right at the end of the playthrough. I was like, why didn't we randomize this? This time, I have not made that mistake. We have a randomized Pokemon Platinum file. For those of you that don't know what this means, it just means that all of the Pokemon that we would meet are not what they would normally be. So, the Bidoof on the first route, maybe something crazy like a Dialga. And we will see all of the Moemon sprites this way, well, as many as we possibly can. So, oh boy, I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited. Let's, let's just go. Rowan, we don't really care what he says, but we'll go through it anyway. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? No, 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 no. This is not our first adventure. We have done Pokemon Moemon Fire Red. I'm kind of counting this as a continuation of that series, for anyone that's wondering. And these episodes are going to be... Well, I'm going to try and make them 25 minutes long. We'll, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how um, engrossed into the game I get, basically. This world is widely inhabited by creatures of Pokemon, yada, yada, yada. We don't care. We just want to see stuff like this. Look at that beautiful Benary. Look at it. Look at it. You looking? That's what I thought. You looking good. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. How close? What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. But this is Moemon, not Pokemon. So uh, get it right. Get it right, Professor. Doesn't even call them by their actual name. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Um, I'm, I'm a boy. That's what you're gonna ask, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we are just gonna go with the name we always go with. We're gonna go with Carlos. Why the hell not? Also, I should probably mention this before the playthrough gets too far in. I am using XSplit to record this rather than OBS, which I usually use. So if there is anything different, like the audio quality, the screen quality drops at any point, please let me know, because I will probably not notice it. I'm still getting used to all of this recording, so if you could tell me anything that happens that is wrong that I may not notice, that would be greatly appreciated. As for our rival name, um, we are going to give you a nice and beautiful name. We're going to give you a name that is befitting of a rival, befitting of a man with talent. We are calling you Gustav. Yep, that's, that's it. Also, we have a speed up button, just letting you know. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. Look how quickly we can skip what he's saying. Isn't that great? Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. And let's actually play the game. Here we go. There you are. Hey, Carlos, did you see the TV? Sure you did. Professor Rowan's that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he has lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. Uh, not how, well, not how it works at all, really. Oh, hey, is this a new PC? Uh, where was I? Oh, right, right. We're gonna go see Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Carlos, if you're late, I'm finding you 10 million. See, I assume he would speak really quickly, and I speak quickly anyway, so I mean, I feel like I can fit his character with my normal voice. I think it works. Carlos, Gustav already- I don't know why our mother has a masculine voice, we're just gonna go with it. Gustav already left, yada yada yada, no one really cares. We just wanna see Moemon. Come on, everyone knows it, that's what we're here for. We want Moemon. Don't go into the tall grass. Pokemon might attack you. Basic start to a basic game. We've already done a Pokemon Platinum randomizer where I actually talked through all of the game, gave everyone voices and stuff. So if you really care about the story, you can go watch that if you really want to. What was that about? Oh, hey, Carlos. Hey, I'm going to see Professor Rowan. You should come too, and quickly. Speed up. Speed up. Speed up, bun. Best bun. Best bun right here. Ah, uh, we all know what I'm excited for. I'm excited to see what our starters are going to be, basically. That's all I really care about. Also, let me know if the audio is okay when it's sped up, because I'm not sure if it will sound really awkward. I don't know if awkward's the best word for it, but either way. I don't know how it's going to sound when it's sped up, because it'll just be... It'll kind of mess up the music, I think. Oh well, it should be fine. We'll hope it's fine. What? Don't go into the tall grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter that we don't have any po... It doesn't matter that we don't have any Moemon. Trust me on this one, I've got an idea. Now listen, you know how wild Moemon jump out when you go into the tall grass? So what you do is, you scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Moemon can appear. If we just keep dashing, you know, dashing actually makes Moemon more likely to appear, so I ain't gonna work. 
Hold it. Hey Rowan, how you doing? You two don't seem to have any Maimon between you. Then, what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? They wanted to go into the tall grass because they wanted Maimon. Hmm, what to do? Their world would surely change if they were to meet Maimon. I'm gonna try and replace Pokemon with Maimon wherever I can. I'm either gonna mess up entirely at some point and completely forget I'm doing it, or I'm gonna go into another playthrough that isn't Maimon and still be doing it and seem like a complete idiot. One of the two, we'll see. Um, I don't really care about what you're saying. I'm- you two, you truly love Maimon, don't you? Yes, yes I do. Me too, I love Maimon too. I'll ask you once again. You two, you truly love Maimon, don't you? It says do you, not don't you. I don't know why I'm saying that. What you could ask a hundred times. The answer will never change. We love Moemon. Right, Carlos? Yeah, sure. A pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter tall grass without Moemon of their own. It worries me what people like that would do with Moemon. It's only just now that I realise how much the word Pokemon is said. Uh, well, I, uh... Well, then forget about me here, but give a Moemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into tall grass and all. How big of you? Yep, now we're about to get Pokemon. Come on, come on, I want to see these randomized stars. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Because these are not going to be Turtwig, Chimchar, and Pitla. They are not. They are going to be something crazy. I'm excited. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm excited. Let's go. Here we go. Here comes the, probably the most important decision that we can make in this episode. Probably. Let's go. Look, these are Pokeballs. These, these are Moe Balls? Do we, do we start calling them Moe Balls? I think so. There is a Moemon in each one. Now choose, which Pokemon will it be? Right, first one, let's go. Guts Pokemon Makuhita, but that is a Moe Turtwig that looks like a freaking acorn. I That does not look adorable at all. It looks small, it looks like a tiny little acorn, but Guts Pokemon Makuhita. So that sprite is not actually a Makuhita, that is not what the Pokemon will look like. We're not gonna get to see them, that kind of upsets me, but... Magnet Pokemon Magneton, and that Chimchar looks like a Charmander, to be honest. <laughs> But Magneton, that's definitely winning so far. And finally, we see the Bronze Bell Pokemon Bronzong. Piplup looks adorable, but we are we don't have a Piplup. Instead, uh, Makuhita, Magneton, Bronzong. Bronzong, I'm sorry, but you are not really a starter type Pokemon. That's not a Pokemon that's going to be really, really beneficial. I don't feel like that Pokemon's going to bring anything. Whereas something like Magneton... I'm thinking about this in the long run. This can paralyze Pokemon. This can catch us more Moemon. We're doing it. We're taking the Magneton. Let's go. Then I choose you. I'm picking this one. Please don't tell me you just picked the Magneton. This is not a Nuzlocke as well. Something I should mention. Every other randomizer I've done has been a Nuzlocke as well. This is not a Nuzlocke. If our Pokemon die, I'm still going to continue the game. Because honestly, I don't need a stressful Moemon experience. I need a fun Moemon experience. Which means... Trying to catch pointless legendaries and messing about and doing things I probably shouldn't be doing in a Pokemon playthrough, but oh well. There's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? Yeah, I want a battle. Let's go. Challenge me to a battle. Did you pick Makuhita? I think you picked the Bronzong. So I really hope I have Thundershock. You picked the Bronzong. Oh my god, I regret my decision. That thing looks great. I have a Magnemite as a hairpin. I'm... I'm a bounce... What happens to the lower half of my body? Um... Magneton? Why... I'm just floating tits right now. That's that's all I am. I am floating tits. Okay, but Thundershock... We do have Thundershock. That's good. That means that we can actually kill this thing. But still, Bronzong does actually look pretty cool. I quite like it. The only thing I don't like is the fact that there's eyes at the bottom of the skirt, I guess it would be. That's a little bit creepy, but... Other than that, it's all good. It's all good. No way, we can keep hitting our strike. No, 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 no. I picked a Magneton, okay? So the only way I'm going to be able to evolve this Magneton is if I get to Mount Coronet in this game, which shouldn't be too far until we get to it. So we might be able to get this thing as a Magnezone. That would be pretty cool. Um, we can level you up a little bit quicker. There we go. Whew, let's go home. And B after that battle, my Moemon needs rest too. See you, Carlos. Ah, oh, we have Moemon. We are we are doing things. We are progressing. This is good. 
So, hey, hey, hey mom, how you doing? What's the matter, dear? Wow, that's what happened to you? You and Gustav are lucky to have met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't have like I wouldn't like to think what the wild Pokemon might have done to you two. I messed up. It's Moemon. What the wild Moemon would have done to you. Damn it, this is difficult. This is actually really difficult. Carlos, go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. His lab is in Sand Gem Town, isn't it? Now that you have your own Pokemon, the tall grass won't be so frightening. Oh, I know. Carlos, put these on. Running shoes? But we have speed up, so I mean, it, it's, it's nice to be able to run. I mean, look, we can go at this speed, or we can go at this speed. Let's be honest, we know which speed I'm going to probably spend most of this play throughout. Too slow. Carlos, I'm sick of waiting. I'm going to see Professor Rowan so I can thank him properly. So I had this great idea. Listen up, okay? You know that lake where we always play at? You know how they say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it, let's catch that Pokemon. That'll make Professor Rowan happy, I'm sure of that. Me and you together, we have nothing to fear. Speed! Oh, look at that speed, it's so good. All right, we're at the lake. Get ready, because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. Trust me on this one, it's here. It even says so on the sign. I like the way that the um, text is automatically on fast for me. I think that was to do with the randomizer. There's an up-to-date randomizer, which means you can uh, set the text to be super fast. I like this. What's going on? It's Cyrus. The flowing time, the expanding space. I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name, remember it. Until then, sleep while you can, legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. Uh, Mesprit doesn't care about what you have to say, Cyrus. Allow me to pass, step aside. Not, not even a please? Not even a your majesty? Disappointing, disappointing. What was that about, weird guy? Okay, Carlos, let's catch that legendary Pokemon. We do actually get to hear it. I actually forget that we get to hear it. I don't know why. Oh, I want to see what Mesprit looks like. I want to see what all the Pokemon looks like. But obviously, it won't be a Mesprit when we get to this point. It will be randomized for another legendary. I ticked the option so that legendaries are randomized for legendaries because I thought it would be a little bit more interesting that way. That was legendary Pokemon Cry. That had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. But we don't have any Moe Balls! <laughs> we don't have anything on us. You know, Moe Balls. M-O accent E Balls. Let's go with that. If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon or take them around with us. Oh, I said Pokemon. Damn it, this is difficult. Do you think Professor Rowan would give us some if we asked him? You know, you remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him at his lab if we needed anything. Okay, Carlos, I'll race you. Sure thing. Sure thing, buddy. So we are actually gonna see some Moem on this episode. Let's let's go. Let's go right here. What do we see? We see a sand shrew. So this confirms one thing that I had in my mind, and that is the the Pokemon we saw in the previous playthrough in Fire Red, they are not gonna look identical. So if you have seen the Fire Red Moemon series I have done, that means that these first gen Pokemon are gonna look different again. Because this is a whole new update. I don't think I'm running the most updated version of Pokemon Platinum Moemon, I'm just gonna put that out there. So if any of my sprites look different compared to sprites that you have, that would probably be why. Because I got this file a while ago and I haven't updated it since. I just felt like playing it through because I never actually got around to it. Hippopotas, oh my god. <laughs> this looks so stupid. <laughs> why, why does it have its ass in the air? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, no. I'm not done here. I want to see what else there is. We have Sandshrew with Hippopotas. Two Pokemon we can't really hit with Thundershock, to be honest. Is it just going to be those Pokemon here? Is that all that's going to be here? I think that's all that's going to be here. Okay, we're just going to continue in that case. And we're going to try and get as much of the tutorial done in this episode as possible. Oh, there you are. Please, come with me. The Professor is waiting. This is it. Our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. What the? Oh, it's you, Carlos. That old guy. He's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Well, it doesn't matter, Carlos. I'm out of here. See you later. He's, he just doesn't care. Wow, what was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. You're telling me. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Gustav is a busy man. He has lots to do, okay? You can't underestimate Gustav. He has, like, a world to go and conquer. He has towns to go and pillage, okay? Well, well, look who's here. I don't know why I just said that. Carlos, was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. 
Well, well. You've made your Pokemon evolve already? No, you gave it to me as a Magneton, just saying. Hmm, and trusting you with that Magneton was no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? No, because I might actually forget what the Pokemon is, so we are not going to be doing nicknames. <laughs> when I first saw you two about to step into the tall grass without Noemon, I was shocked. I was astounded by these foolhardy children. But now, you've astounded me in an entirely different way. Already, there is a bond growing between you and that Noemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Magneton feels the same way about you. That's why I'll ask you to cherish that Magneton of yours. I'm so glad that you're kind towards Moemon. If you weren't, I'd have to. Oh, I just can't say it. Beat you into the ground! Yeah! No, no, not that. Okay. Ahem, let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. Allow me to properly introduce myself first. I know who you are, you're Rowan. Yeah, yeah, you just... You... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll take a Pokedex. A Moe Dex. I will take a Moe Dex. I will take a Moe Dex. I've got one too. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I felt good. <laughs> Let's go with that. The Moemon that I met for the first time was a Chimchar. If you'd chosen a Chimchar on Route 2, I didn't get a choice of a Chimchar. I, Dawn, no. You, you don't know me. You don't know my options in life. Damn it. But I think we can... Okay, we're going to get TM27 for a turn. That's going to have no real use for us. We are going to do this quick tutorial. Pokemon Center, Pokemart. We can buy Pokeballs at this Pokemart before we even do the challenge. So we're gonna buy 15 Pokeballs so we can get as many as possible because that's all we're gonna need. We're only going for the catching. And we are also going to, do we have to run back to our family? We do. What we're gonna do before we round off this episode, we're gonna run back to our mother. We are going to, do all of this tutorial, we're gonna get the randomized tutorial out of the way. There was also an option, I went to the wrong house, good job mate. There is also an option so that you can randomize what Pokemon the starting catch scene is, and I ticked that. So we're gonna see what Dawn actually catches. And we're gonna skip all of this, all, that there, all that's being said right now is, ah, can you go and take a package to Gustav, my little um, conqueror of worlds, amazing man of steel. All that. So we are gonna head to Jubilee City. But right now, we're doing this. We're doing this tutorial. We're gonna see just what Dawn is randomly gonna run into. Oh, that's right, Carlos, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch me, okay? What is she encountering? She's encountering a Camerupt. It's different, I'll give it that. It is different. It's only got eyes. It does. It's missing so much face. Chimchar, why are you floating? Is this gonna happen throughout the entire game? Are we just gonna have floating Pokemon? I kind of like it. I'm kind of okay with this. Imagine if that thing had magnitude and it just one hit the Chimchar. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> that. Oh, I wish that happened. Oh, that'd have been such a better thing to happen. See, she has 20 Pokeballs. I have 15, but she's gonna give me five of hers. So I'm gonna have more Pokeballs for Ha ha ha. So are you gonna, yeah, you're gonna catch the camera up, okay. Giggle, see, isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. It's important to get your poke, Moemon, it's important to get the Moemon's HP down as low as possible. This is because a healthy Moemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Moemon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something by using a Moemon's move. Okay, Carlos, to get you started, I'll give you five Pokeballs, Moe balls, Moe balls. I'm messing this up so much, but I'm gonna really try. By the end of this playthrough, I'm gonna be saying moe to everything. I am. But for right now, we're gonna heal up. I think we're full health anyway, because we healed uh, our mother, but either way, we're gonna end off the first episode of our Moemon adventure right here. We have a lot to do in this playthrough. We have a lot of Moemon to meet. It is a randomizer. We will see a lot next episode. So if you guys are hyped for this entirely new series, leave a like down below. Hit that subscribe button, it really helps out. And without further ado, bye.